Robocall is a student initiative created in 2011. The University of Los Andes, through the Faculty of Engineering, was committed to encourage education, research, and development of science and technology. They aided us in our first years building rovers for international competitions. From 2011 to 2013, the group participated in NASA's Lunabotics Mining Competition at the Kennedy Space Center. Between 2014 and 2015, Robocall participated in the European Rover Challenge with our first Martian rover, Deimos. At the moment, we have other robotics projects which seek diversity among students and their majors. This year, our design is an improved version of our previous Martian rover, Phobos. For the first time, we are using the Rocker Boogie Traction System to ensure the best navigation in the difficult terrain. Among others, our objectives are reduce the rover's weight, improve communication systems, and make a rover that could perform the task without compromising the simplicity of the manufacturing process. With the aid of CATS and simulations, we selected the best dimensions for the traction system and the lightweight structure. We are also able to verify that the assembly of components will be easy to handle and there will be enough space to mount the robotic manipulator for the aid and science task. The tail design phase included selection of materials in accordance with the local market, definition of stresses in structural members, calculation of the rover's overall weight, design and selection of electronic components, definition of the power requirements, simulation of controllers and communication systems. Our objective to reduce significantly the weight was clear in this stage of the process. Regarding the communication systems, we used two radio frequency modules working at 400 MHz. They have the capacity to transmit 256 bytes at 100 ms. To measure the performance of communication between the base and the rover, we tested moving the rover and measure the strength of the signal. This communication protocol is only used to send and receive commands. For the general operation of the rover uh, and the autonomous task, we decided to ask the university's IT engineers for some long-range access points. The antennas are going to be tested in the anechoic chamber so we can obtain the best performance of them. For the mechanical design, we have used Autodesk Inventor, which allows us to design all the required parts for further fabrication. The arm's main degree of freedom is controlled by a DC motor's linear actuator. This actuator allows the arm to go up and down in order to pick objects at various heights. The idea here is to design a closed control loop for the height of the arm and so that we could improve the performance of the robot during operation. With this library, we are able to import all the design parts from Inventor and assemble them in Simulink for proper dynamic simulation. Our first choice for the controller is a PID compensator. This is due to its popularity and fast design with Simulink. Here our main goal is to reduce the controller's overshoot and so we trade some speed for a smaller overshoot. In practice, PID controller might not perform so well due to non-linearities in the system, such as dead zones in the DC motor. For this reason we are currently designing a physiologic controller as a second option. We manufactured most of the parts of the rover ourselves by working on the lathe and the mill at our university's manufacturing lab. The parts requiring precise tolerances were manufactured on the CNC lathe with the help of manufacturing lab technicians. All the pieces have simple designs so they can be quickly and cheaply replaced in case of emergency. Here we are testing the motion of the rover with all its motors operating. The electronics team is measuring the current to test if it matches the simulation they made previously and verify if the edge bridges that were designed will work correctly. The mechanical team is observing closely the joints to check the structural integrity of the rover and how the structure behaves with all motors running. With the traction system in the testing phase, the mechanical team can now focus on building the two robotic arms.